Hey guys, it's Amber. Um, I'm making this tutorial basically because I've had two requests on this role play that I'm on to make a tutorial of how I do my uh, blends or my manips. Okay, what I'm going to show you guys is something like this today, except it won't be Angie and Mia. It's going to be Jane and Owen. Yeah, I know. Really random couple, but that's what I've been requested. So, okay, you go to your pictures and you pick out two pictures you want. And make sure when you do a blend, make sure the pictures match. Like outside, outside picture, inside, inside picture. And it somewhat matches. So that way the blending will go a whole lot easier. Okay, Owen, Owen. Okay, found you. Okay, as you can tell, there's a big coloring difference in both of these pictures. Like, Owen looks a lot more lighter and more uh colory and jane's picture looks not as colory and oh sorry guys and looks kind of yeah so what we're gonna do first is unlock the layers is something i always do i've just been told to do it and i've done it and yeah okay go back to the picture of jane and we're gonna go to image adjustments curves and basically it's gonna lighten up the picture a little bit make it brighter okay that should do it that's okay go back to Owen and we're gonna take some of the brightness out of the picture so that way it's not as bright and then take some contrast because yeah and then go to image adjustments Hue and saturation. Hue and saturation is like the color of the picture to make the color stand out more or take it away. Like watch. If I were to boost up the saturation, it would make it look really, really, yeah. If I boost it down, it takes away the color. So we're going to put it about, right here should do. Eh, maybe a little more. There we go. And now the next thing I do is I go to this tool, which is the move. I call it the move tool. I'm not sure if that, yeah, the move tool. Haha. <laughs> I was actually right because that's what I call it. And basically, you you click your left click and you drag it to your other picture, and it will paste it on top. Oh no! Now look, the image size is completely off of what Jane's is. He looks a lot smaller what do I do that's easy go to edit and go to free transform and basically you can size the picture to whatever you want and I'm doing this do eh. okay that should work if not we could always adjust it later and press ok next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna erase the background of because it's on top of Jane and you're like no 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 you want to blend this so what I usually do there's a million ways you can do it but the easiest I found was using the brush tool you make sure you have a blurry type brush selected um, and then you go to mode normally you guys will have it on normal and if you were to do it on normal yeah look it made a mess rather than delete the mess so then you want to go change the mode from normal to clear and then just start erasing and you see how it blends a lot easier than with like because with the eraser brush it doesn't blend as well with this one like this one does and I just find it a lot easier to work with and don't worry, I think I'm going to crop this image so that way his top of his head won't look as funny. And when it gets closer to um, yeah, his chest, we can always downsize the brush a little bit. So that way you can get closer. And you must take your time on this. If you rush, it's going to look rushed and it won't look good. So take your time. Time, yeah. Okay, I think I might put them in a little bit like this. Don't worry, we're going to crop the picture. So 
Okay, that looks good. Okay, now let's see. Okay, you see how he how the light lighting is two different um, things. Like he's a lot more brighter than she is. Well, there's two ways of doing this. Either you could boost her up or boost him down. I think I'm gonna boost him down, only because it would be a lot easier. So let's see. Let's go to curves. Let's try curves. Okay, never mind. Don't listen to me. Don't do curves. Um, go to um, brightness contrast. Okay, better yet, let's boost her up because obviously that's how it's going to play. Okay, go to image adjustments, curves. Boost it up a little bit more. Now we're going to add some levels, which will bring in more of a shadow type look. Mm. Like that. Don't worry, I don't think we're going to keep it like this. I think we're going to turn it black and white, but I think we're going to add some color in it to make it look even better. Okay, let's see. I like how this is looking with like the lightness to me kind of looks about the same. Um Okay. Now let's merge visible and then we're going to crop the picture. I use the crop tool, which is this tool right here. You go like this. And then crop. Okay, hold on. Okay. Now that we did that, next thing we're gonna do, since I'm gonna put most of this black and white, but I want like her headband in the back where I hear it to be in color, what we're gonna do is we're gonna left click, or no, right click, sorry, and duplicate the layer press ok make the top layer black and white if you do the bottom layer it won't work go to the top layer go to image adjustments desaturate and it makes it black and white now go back to your brush tool make sure it's clear the blurry brush boost it up if you have to and then erase what you want in color which I kinda like this effect especially since it's like a spring timey effect in hold on and okay now that you have that effect now you merge visible and I like how this looks. I like how this blend turned out. And that's really all there is to it. I mean, and that's it. I mean, just mess around with Photoshop and really that's how it goes. But if you liked how it turned out in regular color, then just leave it at that, you know? Or put it black and white. It depends on your pictures and you just really have to fiddle around with it. That's how I find how I learned. I fiddled around with it. I looked at tutorials and I tried. That's basically what I did. Okay, I hope this tutorial was helpful. I I hope. Because, you know, I'm trying to help other people. Especially since um, it got requested. Alright, before I babble on and on and on, I'm ending this now. Alright, bye guys. Oh, one last thing. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so, I'm so sorry for not including this. How to save a picture, because I'm sure it would come up. All right, you want to save this in the best quality possible. So go to File, Save As, and then type whatever you want. Uh, 
I'm just going to put in Jane in because I think that's the couple name. And make sure the format is PNG. That's the best quality you can get. And then click save. And then OK. And you're all done. And then you can exit it out. And that's it. Okay. Bye.